Hey everybody, it's Joe Doom back for another video. Today is Veda Day 29, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, some memories from my high school. When I was in high school, I was in marching band all the way from 7th grade all the way through graduation. And one year we did a show that was themed uh, after the Mask of Zorro movie. And one of the cool things was I got to play the role of Zorro. And I had a hat and the mask and I was all dressed in black and I had a cape and a sword and everything. And during one of the songs, uh, me and one of the, uh, the snare drummers and one of the drum majors had a little sword fight on the field and it was super awesome. And, uh, <laughs> one of my treasured, um, what do you call it? Not relics, but one of my treasured keepsakes from that is the sword I used. And here is the story about the swords. When we decided to do a sword fight, one of the, uh, band parents decided to get some swords so, uh, so that we could use them. However, the ones that they got were primarily prop swords and were more pirate-style swords. And the thing about prop swords, is, or not even prop swords, it was um, display swords. That's what they are. Not meant for combat whatsoever. But here was the thing. Uh, two things happened. One, the handle... Right. Let's just use this as an example. Say, like... This is where the handle comes in right here, and it attaches to the blade. This particular blade goes all the way through to the end. However, the ones that they got for us, the blade stopped right here. And a couple of times, the blade popped out of the handle, and that was bad. But it didn't hit anybody, so... but still bad. The other bad thing was because we were doing uh, sword fights with these metal swords, they wanted to make sure there was no edge. So what somebody decided to do was take a grinder and just grind the edge down. And that was not good because instead of it just being one edge, it then became two very ragged edges where it was completely flat the corners right there were very sharp. So that had to be fixed. Uh, and plus there was going to be three of us fighting. We only had two swords. So my mom, <laughs> she was like, you know what? I'm going to go and buy some swords that were more appropriate to the era. And she got two identical ones. This is one of them. She still owns the other one. But the other one was used by the... Um, the snare drummer that I fought against and one of the display swords was used by the drum major. Uh, I also had a whip. Uh, but yeah, this is the sword that I used in the show. And trust me, we fought. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Me, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was, his name was Kirk. I don't think it was Dallas. Uh, but me and Kirk, um, would practice a lot at my friend Peter's house, and we choreographed this amazing fight, and right before our first show, everyone was like, uh, your fight is really nice and really amazing, but can you tone it down a little bit? We think it might be a little too dangerous, so we're like... Oh, man, this was like a couple days before our first show. It might have been before a band festival, so we had a lot of work to, you know, tone it down. So it got toned down and, and within safe parameters, but we still fought with intensity to make it look kind of realistic. Uh, but still a whole lot of fun. And you can actually see the wear and tear. Let me see if I can get that. I don't know if you can see all these jagged edges <laughs> but there was oh there's some more right there yeah but you could tell that we actually really impacted and we didn't do the stage thing where we would go and like stop right before the blades hit no we were just like bang and we used it because we were both percussionists 
we can just kind of use the momentum of when the swords hit and the recoil to get to our next position. So that was all good and fun. Actually, at one point, this particular sword uh, right here actually broke. And I have that together with some sort of um, glue and resin that I just kind of put together just because it, it was hanging out over here and it, it was bothering me so much. But anyways, oh, and I also had these two safety things coming out right here and um, I just, I took those off because <laughs> I thought they looked ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really fun marching show. One of my favorite memories about this whole experience was we were at a band festival and one of our um, things that we would like to do after a band festival and before our next one was we would listen to the judges tapes saying because you know they give they critique every section so you know there was uh, a judge designated to marching there was one designated for the different sections of classifications of instruments and there was this all sorts of different judges there was one time, I believe it was the woodwind judge. He was just saying, you know, he was doing he was doing his judging commentary thing into his uh, recording device. And then all of a sudden he says, oh my gosh, there's a sword fight on the field. Oh my gosh, they're coming towards me. I'm so distracted. <laughs> Never, ever, ever have I heard a judge say they're distracted <laughs> oh i just thought that was the best thing i wish i had a recording of it i'm i'm pretty sure there might be the recording of it lingering somewhere in the old band room um i just haven't taken initiative to go over there and ask but who knows if it's around there i would love to have a copy of that but Oh, that was so much fun, and the, the music was fun, and just everything about that show was fun, and I still have the hat and the mask and the accessories and blah, blah, blah. Um, the whip wasn't mine, but I got one from a... I think I got one in St. Augustine, uh, just because. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so anyways, that is my story about me being Zorro in marching band in high school, and this is my sword... And, <laughs> no, I don't care what you think. I don't swing this around um, practicing. This is a display piece. But, however, if push came to shove, if, you know, something were to happen and I needed to protect the home, I would probably grab this. <laughs> Anyways, yep, that was that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.